Advent of Code 2019, day 14, about to start. What do we got? Space stoichiometry. Okay, we got uh, chemical, reaction, or how much ore to produce fuel. Yeah. Okay. Seems fine. Uh, the input, 14, 14 in. Hi. That's not a thing. Uh, four line. Split. Split. What's the actual idea here? So to make a fuel, we need all of this stuff. So we just need to figure out how to make all of that stuff. So
Or do we need to make n of this item? You get
Yeah, the so. What is going on here? For each reaction, we need to figure out how many times we're going to run. We obviously want to run the fuel one once. And... Yeah. Tricky. One trillion.
So one. Hey, that was tricky. Uh, okay, so what was going on here? So we have a bunch of formulas that we can use uh, that uh, you know, turn things into other things. Wait, so we can turn uh, or into A and or into B and A and B into C, whatever. Uh, and you have to run each of these formulas an integer number of times. Uh, right, so you have you can't get like nine a. You have to run the whole thing and spend ten or. Uh, and sort of the guarantee is that uh, from or you can make anything, and you want to get to one fuel. Uh, and also, there's only one way to make each thing that's helpful. Uh, yeah. So the question is, how much or do you need to spend to make one fuel? Uh, so my initial reaction, which was wrong, was that uh, you can just run through uh, sort of the reactions you'll need to go down, right? So to make one fuel, you'll need to make one E and seven A, and to make one E, you need to make one D and seven A, and to make one D, you need to make one C and seven A, uh, right? And so how do you make seven A? Well, you run this formula once. Uh, so anyway, this gives you a total of 41 or, this this idea, right, you use one or to make a B, and then you use uh, 10 or in the B to make a C, and 10 or in the C to make a D, and so on, but actually, you don't need to spend uh, to make 40A, you can make only 30A, and then, right, because you only need 28 to run these four reactions. Uh, so, sort of isolating it um, step by step is not correct. You need to accumulate every. The problem was that every time I needed seven a, I said, "Okay, I'll make 10. But uh, we were sort of piling up extra a as we did that, and eventually, you know, those piles would have let us not. Right by the time we did three of them, we had piled up an extra nine a. So we didn't actually need to run the last one. Uh, maybe actually we could have solved it that way, but keep track of how much extra we got. Um, but instead, I did. Well, what I thought was a topological sort. Um, so the idea is, uh, right, so first we need to post the input um, into these rules, like these formulas, which I've stored in F. So given a thing that you want, how many you get out of that formula, and what things you need. Uh, and the needs are pairs of how much of the thing you need and what ingredient it is. Uh, right, so in this case, you know, you get, to make A, you get 10 of them at a time, and you need 10 or. Uh, okay, so that's the parsing. Uh, and also keep track of the in degree of everything. So, like, how many formulas is this thing used in? Uh, okay, so my idea for how to figure out the cost is... Uh, I'm going to start processing things that I know that I'm not going to need any more of later uh, t to make sure that I figure out how much of it I actually need right now. Um, and I'm going to write down how much of each thing that I need. So initially, so in part one, uh, I just need one fuel. So I can write down that. And then I'm going to start uh, with the fuel figure out how much of that I need. Uh, so if the thing that I am trying to make is or, uh, you know, that just takes n or, right, or that's the whole answer, right? The whole question is how much or do I need to make n fuel? Uh, so once I've gotten down to or, 
you know, however much or I need is just the answer. Uh, otherwise, figure out what formula I'm going to run to get x. Figure out how many times I'm going to need to run this formula. And so the key point is here, by the time we're processing x, we're processing like all of the possible uses of x, not just one possible use. So this is all the x I'm ever going to need. So I know, you know that I need to run the formula this many times. This is the uh, ceiling of n over n get. Uh, right, because I might need to like, I might end up with some extra x, but that's fine. Uh, so I need to run it at least that many times. Uh, and then for each of the ingredients in that formula, uh, I'm going to write down that I need uh, so much of that ingredient, the number of times I'm going to run the formula times the number of that ingredient required in the formula. And I'm also going to mark off, uh, you know, now that I've accounted for my need for y uh, in this formula. And, you know, once I've uh, marked off all the times that I'm going to need an ingredient, then I can process it through this loop and actually make it. Uh, so this amounts to a topological sort. You can think of these as like in degrees, right? So, uh, and the idea of the topological sort is that the order that you want to process the ingredients uh, is the order uh, such that you're not going to need, uh, you figured out all the places where you're going to use that ingredient by the time that you process it. Uh, so that's basically part one. Put that down. Uh, and then for part two, uh, we're gonna. So they ask us how many, how much ore we would need. No, how much fuel can we make with a trillion units of ore? Uh, and we need to be a little bit cautious here. You might think. And actually, I didn't even check this. Uh, Yeah, so you might think that, okay, well, it took uh, 522,000 units of ore to make one fuel. So if I have a trillion fuel, it's just a trillion divided by this. Uh, but that's not right, because of the same thing I was talking about earlier, that you get some economy from uh, making more things at once, right? Because this one fuel, we might have end ended up with a lot of extra ingredients. Uh, so with a trillion ore, we need to... Uh, we might need to um, not run the fuels. And we, we might not need to run each recipe like. Uh, sorry. When you made one fuel, we ended up with a bunch of extra stuff. We need to use that extra stuff in making more fuels. Uh, so we can't just multiply the cost for one. Um, so what I did was a binary search. So I said, uh, you know, I know I'm going to make between zero and a trillion fuel. Uh, so let me check, you know, a trillion over two. Can I make that much fuel with a trillion ore? Uh, if so, then I know that I can make at least that much fuel. If not, I know that I can make strictly less than that amount of fuel. Uh, and so I just keep cutting my search interval in half every time through this loop. So it's very quick to find out you know, whatever the right amount that I can actually make is. Uh, lovely. So, yeah, that's the idea for part two. Um, cool problem today. I, uh, you know, I wish I'd realized that my initial idea was wrong earlier, but, uh, you know, it's cool that it's cool that my initial idea was wrong and it required some more thought. That was a, that was a nice idea. So that's all for day 14.